Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I thought that I would come show you some things that I purchased from a quilter's estate sale. She has an illness, and she is no longer able to quilt. So I went to her quilter's estate sale on June 22nd, 2019, and I just thought that I would share with you what I got. She reasonable prices for books so I bought this book here former's wife the former's wife it's a sampler quilt and I had this book that I had purchased before must have bought it like from Joann's or something and then got home and the disc wasn't in the book and that wasn't something that I could prove so I didn't even try to take it back and so since I saw it at her sale I decided to buy the book so that I can get the CD she also had another book that I wasn't even aware of, The Former's Wife Pony Club. It's another sampler quilt. And I purchased this pattern from Jaybird Quilts called Disco. And it's dealing with using the Hex and More ruler that I have. So I thought that I would try it as well. Had a book on Zendangles. It says Fabric Arts Quilting and Library. And let's just show you some of the pages in here. So I don't have any of the Zentangle books. So I thought that would be really cool. And then another book on that style is called Creative Doodling and Beyond. So I also purchased this one. And it's like a little workbook series thing where... It shows you some things and then gives you blank pages to make some things. Creative Doodling and Beyond is by Stephanie Corfi. I purchased one book that I already have. And every time I see these kind of book, this book at estate sales or any books that I recommend in my scrap quilting lectures, I will purchase that book and then I will give them out as a door prize drawing. I really love this book. I actually have made the quilt on the cover. And that's 40 Fabulous Quick Cut Quilts by Evelyn Sloppy. Bought the Ultimate Half Law Cabin book. And I'm not sure like if I have some of these books or not. And if I do, then I'll just either sell them or re-gift them somewhere else. Next book I got is Lazy and Loving It by Joan Hawley of Lazy Girl Designs. I don't know if I have this book. It's called Stripping Time Projects of the Month. And then on the back. You can see up here some of the projects that are included. And they have some other ones as well that are not on the outside. I love Buggy Born quilts. And so she had two Buggy Born books that I did not have or didn't think that I have. This is called That Crazy Thing We Do by The Buggy Born. And this is Undeniably Crazy by The Buggy Born. So I thought that I would do those since those are kind of my collection books. I bought this little booklet that's called Cappuccino by Possibilities. And it has this quilt here as well as the leaf pattern as well. So very small book. She also had this book that I just ordered from online so now I have two because she had it at such a great price I just thought I'd get it in case somebody else need one and I can resell it so I've got the ultimate Sashiko source book and then she had some in here that she had done by Sashiko machine not by hand so I thought that was pretty interesting I don't think there's any more in here but let me make sure yeah that's it so just these two pieces that she had stuck in the book where she was playing with them. I also am collecting 
crazy quilt books one day i hope to do a crazy quilt <laughs> with all the handwork and embellishments so i thought i didn't have this book so i thought that i would get it i also have another log cabin book called judy martin's log cabin book i also love judy martin's quilts don't know if i have it this is my duplicate sashiko book and then she made me take five magazines she had australian patchwork and quilting magazines which i do like so i just pulled out five because i really didn't want to add any more to my stash so i will probably read these and then uh donate them to the guild if there isn't anything in them that i like because i just pulled those out i also bought some notions from her I already have this ruler it's called the add a quarter ruler and I know you can't hardly see it but it's the add a quarter ruler and I have a small one already but I thought I would buy another one it was so funny because she had four of them for sale and I'm like I only have one this size so I decided if she can have four I can at least have two <laughs> And then I also purchased the Flying Geese Ruler by Quilt in a Day. And I may have this ruler already, but again, it's one of those things that when you can get it at a great price, it's okay to have two of. I purchased this pin cushion, the wool pin cushion, so I really like it. And it's called the Very Oofal 2 Pure Hand Felted Wool Pin Cushion. And it was made by Brush Hollow Studio. So I thought that I would get that. And it was very colorful too, so I like that. And then I also purchased these pattern weights from her. A whole container of them. They were only a couple bucks, so I thought that was a good deal. And it's a lot of them. Every once in a while I do need something to be weighted down and those will come in handy. Now we're going to do the fabrics so let me get those bags so the fabrics that i got i tried to get fabrics that were two or three yards or more so that i could use them for quilt backs if i needed to whether i like them or not so she had a lot of baseball themed stuff and i'm actually working on a baseball quilt so i thought that i would get these so may not be your prettiest fabrics i actually did not have these prints already in my stash this is also a little different from the prints that i've had in my stash for baseball i'm actually in the process of making a t-shirt quilt for the st louis cardinals and then my friend also want me to make her one so i will eventually be making two so she had these three baseball fabrics and i thought that i would just go ahead and utilize those And next fabric I had more in the 4th of July fabric, but I just thought that the burst of colors were really pretty. And so I just purchased it. Again, they can be used for backings. This one is Alexander Henry print. This is another one of those fabrics you can, that's kind of patriotic. And this one was just because it was two or three yards that I can use as backing. Nothing special about it. <clears throat> Had this very pretty zebra print that I'd never seen in this colorway. Let's see if it has any salvage I can read. Look like I see it here. It's called Animal Attraction by Northcut Studios and that is it it doesn't have any identifying numbers after that but I thought that was cute too here's kind of a ethnic print it's let's see what the salvage says on it valley of the kings philip de leon for the alexander henry and i notice when i buy like sometimes weird prints that they are mostly alexander henry i do like some of his weirdness 
or some of the company's weirdness. It could would be funny if it's actually a lady. <laughs> but um, this is just a piece of green scrap. I just liked it. This is another scrap that I just happened to like. It's about a half yard. This here is another yardage, two or three yard piece. And again, you probably are not going to find a lot of these fabrics. So I'm reading off the salvages. But remember, when you're buying stash of, of a quilter, she could have had it for years. This is called The Right Stuff by Hoffman International Fabrics. And just says screen print. So no other identifying information, but it's the worldwideweb.com www.worldwideweb.com is what's kind of printed on it all over. I just thought that would be cool on the back of a quilt. Another one is time pieces or really globes, I guess. But um, I thought that would be interesting. Just on the back, again, it's not something that I like fell in love with, but I thought it would work on the back. <clears throat> this one is scissors. And I know I haven't been reading the salvages, but guys, you're probably not going to find these. This is Fabric Traditions. It's a 1993 print, and it's just scissors. It says cut along dotted line. That's pretty cool. So, thought that one was interesting. Another piece of fabric here. Let's open it up just a little bit more. And then let me get to the salvage over here. It says that this is Oodles of Doodles by Ricky Thames for Red Rooster Fabric. DSN number 20997. So just colorful is why I got it. <clears throat> another colorful piece I've had some fabric similar to this they must have this in a lot of different colorways and this one is Robert Kaufman fabric ASK-3612 Horizons and let me make sure there isn't anything else since we're on the edge of this salvage. Yeah, so that's it. Very pretty piece of fabric. I know it had to be really hard for her to sell her stuff off. And she really had it at reasonable rates. So that she really wanted quilters to have it over just donating it somewhere to be getting rid of it. So, also in addition to the fabric, I also bought 31 spools of thread, which I have already put up. The spools of thread are for my long arm quilting, because she was a long arm quilter. And she also had a long arm quilting machine that I had a friend of mine's purchase. She was asking me if I knew anybody that might want to buy it. So, this is a scrap piece of fabric. Fat quarter or so. Another piece of yardage. I didn't like it. All I saw initially was just the lines. This is Dan Mars from Michael Miller. Pattern number C-1232 logs. And then it also has this in the middle. So very weird print. But again, I will just be using it on the back of Charity Quilt. So it doesn't really matter to me. I bought some things that I could also use as an eye spy quilt. So I got dog bones, got some pigs. Turn them the right way. Most of them are turned that way. And I thought I had some other ones. Hold on, I'm going to skip what I have out. I got some s'mores, which I don't even eat. <laughs> But I thought it would be really cute in an ice spy quilt. Some more of the log fabric. Um, oh, and I also have bicycles. 
so I'm not sure if I got any more uh, I spy fabric so I'm just gonna slide them over there for right now got a few patriotic prints got some red here this says United we stand white have United we stand in blue just a blue scrap again these are just scrap stars And this one was also in a patriotic section. Um, free spirits fabric, foul play. But uh, this is the print here. So more of the same scraps I've already shown you. more of the same scrap here and then this one is a different one so just different scraps she had for patriotic stuff and I thought they I would get some this I think was also in patriotic although it's red white and black and then another I spy fabric I got was these peppers and also Elvis This is pretty cool. And I'll show you the other side. And I'll tell you who it's by. I'm sure it's old too. Well, maybe not because it's not. Well, we got another salvage. <laughs> Let's see. Licensed by VIP, which is Cranston. Printed in the USA. And it doesn't have on my piece any type of identifying information so they do have the patent and trademark to make the fabric but it doesn't tell you what the name of it is but of course it is Elvis Presley and they even made sure that the trademark was inside of the fabric as well Okay, so some other bright ones. I'm just going to be going through these just to let you guys go. Some orange, blue, tillish, green, uh, hearts, trees, and a landscape. Uh, this one was kind of ethnic as well, so I got it. And it's called... Guatemalan rainbow which is very neat it was by Robert Kaufman print number 4907 and here is the Guatemalan part rainbow another colorful piece so it looked like she was embroidering on this piece so I'll just use the bottom part that's not been used another colorful piece colorful pieces a leaf print floral print some stripes like raindrops And another one of those pieces that's very similar to something I've showed you before, but a different colorway. And then this was in there like a hanky or a scarf or a napkin. I don't know, but I just thought I would get it for the centerpiece because I can always use it in a t-shirt quilt or as a center of a regular quilt even. So, but that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed what I selected from her stash. She had plenty of stuff and I went on the first day and the second day I went back with my friend to look at the long arm and it was still a lot of stuff. So yeah, so 
I tried to be selective in what I got and not go crazy because they did have very reasonable prices and I'm not going to even go through that. Just know that they were super reasonable prices and because she wanted quilters to have her wares and as they use them to think of her. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye everybody. Thank you.